Now that you have your goals down, what are you going to do to reach those one to three goals? Each week, how do you get to that bigger goal? So then you have your weekly goals. Then we wanna to go to your monthly goals. What do you wanna achieve each month so that six months from now, you're like, I'm halfway there. Then you can go to your six month. Okay, I'm at six months. I have half of a year to go. What do I need to go back and change at this point and what can I keep? So then the next six months of the year, you know exactly what you do and you don't want to do. By listening to my guests share how they are discovering their best self, you will discover the best part of you. Hey everyone, happy new year. Can you believe it is 2022? Oh my God, it's like crazy, right? Time waits for no one is what my grandmother always used to say. And so I want to just go ahead and hop right into it. Thank you so much for even taking the time out to view my channel, to listen to what I have to say. And I hope that this year you get a better chance at getting to know who I am and I get to know who you all are. So I am Shanice, I am Discover Your Best Self. I'm always looking for ways to help you and myself discover who I am, the best part of who I am all the time, right? Because if we can't be our best selves and we can't show up for anyone else, we can't help our family, our friends, um, you know, our kids. Um, so we wanna make sure we discover our best selves all the time and some days it's gonna be hard. Today is hard, right? So some days are going to be hard, but as long as we are continuously putting forth that effort to be who we need to be and showing up for ourselves, I think that that's the first step. But before we get into it, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a minute to subscribe to my channel. Yep, go ahead and subscribe and follow us. You can make any comments that you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a minute. Y'all did it? You done? Okay, great. So I'm so glad that you were able to subscribe to the channel, but let's go ahead and get right into it. You know, 2022, I know is gonna be filled with all kinds of great things for you all. Whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you've been wanting to do, it's gonna happen this year. You just gotta get to it, just like me. So how many of y'all are doing this? these vision boards? I don't know, is that like played now? Are people still doing that? To me, I can't get into it anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of clipping out magazine pictures and um, words and putting it all on this board. Am I supposed to look at that? Where am I putting it? What am I doing with this afterwards? So I think that being intentional with your goals and maybe setting one to three goals is it. You cannot have 20,000 things that you want to accomplish in one year. You see how fast this last year just went? like that it's already a new year so let's be attainable let's do some things that we know that we can complete and then challenge ourselves the next time to say you know what i know i did that and guess what i'm gonna do this time i'm gonna do double that and that's how you get to where you need to be right it may not be where you want to be eventually but success is you are successful as long as you are on your way to accomplishing what you have set out to do. That's being successful. That is truly being successful. You know what I mean? Just following your journey, following your track. And I have to remind myself of this all the time because I look at people sometimes and I know it, I know. You're not supposed to, you know, look at other people. You're not supposed to compare yourselves and all these other things. But let's just be honest here. We're human, I'm human. And you see your counterparts, right? You see your coworkers, you see your friends and family. You're like, man, you know, I wanna be able to do these things. I wanna be here, right? And maybe they're looking at you like, I wanna do what she doing. I wish I could do that, da 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 da, -da. Everybody is. So it's better to just sit back, focus and, 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 and just be intentional on what you want to do to get there and and know what your goals are and don't let anyone else distract you from that because if not you're gonna always and when i say always you're gonna always be looking at someone else and saying man i wish i was in their shoes or i wish i was doing this instead of looking at yourself saying i'm on my way and i've already done a b and c and now i'm on to the next so let's get into it 
What is it that you want to accomplish? Go ahead and write those down. Go ahead and get a book, get a journal, get a piece of paper, whatever you want to do, put it in your phone. What is your 2022 intentional goal? What do you want to accomplish? The biggest thing this year, and maybe you can say three things. Don't do any more than three. I'm telling you right now, don't do any more, okay? Y'all got it? All right, so now that you have your goals down, what are you going to do to reach those three, one to three goals? Each week, how do you get to that bigger goal, right? If you're in sales and you're like, man, this year I need to double what I did last year. If my, if my number was 10 last year and I know I need to make 20, so what does that look like right now? I'm at the beginning of the, of the year. How many calls did I make this time last year? How many emails? How many people did I get in touch with? Do I need to do something a little bit different? Do I need to change my messaging? Matter of fact, let me go back to my emails and see what that messaging looked like, right? That'll help you. Go back and study yourself and see what tweaks do you need to do so that you can be ahead of the game this year and attain the goals that you want to. So then you have your weekly goals, right? Your week. Then we want to go to your monthly goals. What do you want to achieve each month so that six months from now, you're like, I'm halfway there. So right now we're in the middle of, Ju of January. Six months from now, what does your life look like? What have you accomplished? How have you gotten things done? Okay, so now you have your monthly attainment. So after your monthly attainment, then you can go to your six month. Okay, I'm at six months. I have half of a year to go. What do I need to go back and change at this point and what can I keep? And that's how you measure. It's just simply measuring. And it's okay if you didn't have everything complete. It's totally okay. Because guess what? You can go back and you can tweak those things. And not only that, you can make sure that you don't make those same mistakes. It's okay if you make those mistakes. We all make them. It's about learning from them and fixing them and saying, you know what? That didn't work, so I'm going to go ahead and do something else. It's totally fine. So then the next six months of the year, you know exactly what you do and you don't want to do. So y'all have your goals down? And then after that, make sure you have your weekly and then your monthly. And then that helps you understand what you need to do daily to a complete everything, right? So that you're not being monotonous, number one. And number two, you're actually prioritizing the things that need to get done first. And we'll talk about priorities later. That's a whole nother topic. We will jump into that later. But as of right now, we're just talking about goals. And actually, I really want to talk about it in more depth, but this is just to get you started, right? We don't even know where to start sometimes. It's so overwhelming, and I totally get it. So, like I said, go ahead and get those three goals down. What is it that you really want to accomplish? Figure out how you want to attain them by weekly and monthly. And then by your six-month mark, you definitely should see where you are. And then make your adjustments so that you can finish out the year strong. Um, so on to that, I just wanted to get into this hair one and, uh, the lashes that I had on. I really love them. They are social light mink lashes. Okay. And these are the nine to five ones. So if you want to know how to get access to these, just go ahead and follow them on social light, um, social mink lashes. You can follow them on Instagram and you can find your lashes there. Um, just click on the website in the uh, bio. All right, so if you have any other questions, please put them in the comments below and you can follow me on Instagram. All right, so happy new year, happy 2022. Let's get these goals on a roll so that we can be looking so we can look back in the summertime and say you know what i went ahead and busted that out and now i'm about to bust out my next six months and get to where i need to be in 2023 bye thank you for listening to discover your best self don't forget to subscribe and comment follow us on instagram at discover your best self